In this video, I build my dream gaming slash editing setup at 18 years old. 18 because it was done back in 2020. I'm 19 now. Okay, let's go. Ever since I was a little kid, I can remember I have always wanted a baller setup. This really set in pretty much whenever the PS4 came out, and as much as I begged and begged my parents, they wouldn't buy me one. Something about instilling work ethic or something like that. Before that, I was playing video games on my PlayStation 3 on my living room's big flat screen TV. That was where teenage me would spend so much time playing games like MW2, BO2, Uncharted 3, FIFA, and NHL. I'm Canadian, what did you expect? <laughs> Until this game came out, Overwatch. Yeah! Not only just because it was a great game, but the meme dodges, the two mads, whatever. There's meme dodges for the game and I, I liked it. But at that time, they weren't making games for the PlayStation 3 anymore, so I needed to think creatively. I had some old, huge HP laptop, but that didn't cut it. The graphics were so pixelated, and I would barely get over 25 frames per second at like 480p. In came this freaking nature, my first ever PC, and my first ever setup. It had a GTX 1050 graphics card, and for some reason, I bought a two-core processor because I had some idea, but at the same time, absolutely no idea what I was doing. For you non-PC people out there, you need way more than two cores for your processor to be able to run games well. It was pretty stupid. Over many, many obscure upgrades, mistakes made, and memories created, come to the year 2020, it was definitely due for an upgrade. Really? COVID? And always watching the newest Linus Tech Tip videos to see what was coming out, but never actually buying anything brought me to the conclusion. <clears throat> it was time for an upgrade. This time around, I was actually working a full-time job, so my funds were unlimited. Meaning, boy, did I spend probably too much money on this, but never mind that. First off, an insane amount of boxes arrived. After that, one Ikea trip later, we were off to the races. To start the setup upgrade adventure was the absolutely so unnecessarily complicated IKEA desk drawers. After that I was actually getting the top of my desk onto the top of drawers. Well, it says do not open with a knife, so... Hey, Eva. For my chair, because of previous experiences with heat from leather, I decided to go with an all mesh chair, which is actually really good. After that were the many things I bought for my desk, as well as the cable holder that would make my cable management far easier. Just do an initial pilot hole, so I'm gonna probably... You don't actually understand how much of an upgrade this was. I bought a 240Hz LG gaming monitor, which is insanely quick compared to 60fps, and an actual professional level color grading BenQ monitor, which is night and day compared to my $80 grayed out 1080p 60fps monitor before. Then I installed new blinds in my room with my dad. Mine's on. Last, but definitely not least, is the Big Kahuna, now known as Matt's Masterpiece. For the PC, I got a MSI Tomahawk motherboard and a Ryzen 3900X, which I was really excited about. Ooh. Saber. 
Sprint Rocket M.2 SSD, 16GB of XPG RGB RAM, as well as 16GB for my other computer. I decided to go with the NZXT H510i for my case. A Corsair 650 watt power supply and a bunch of SSD drives for my computer, as well as a one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. For my graphics card, I went with the ASUS RTX 2070, mainly because I bought it before GPU prices skyrocketed. Well, it's 6 a.m., so I'll see you when I wake up. All right, so everything's plugged in. All I gotta do is pretty much just pray it turns on. Hey, hey, hey. look at that. So cut to a year later, it's December 13th, 2021, and I fully finished the setup. Essentially the only thing that I changed is that we installed little risers on top of each uh, Alex drawer, as well as a pole in the middle, and an LED strip on the back of the desk, which I think actually brings it all together. Yeah, that's a wrap for this video. Make sure to subscribe for my next video, where I'm gonna be doing an actual full-on tour throughout all of this and giving my different reviews on how I feel about things a year later. So yeah, that's the video, everybody.